So we're going to look at iMovie and how we can use green screen in iMovie and edit some of the scenes that I've created with some Creative Commons media. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this little plus button in the corner. So let's choose that. And then we're going to choose movie because we don't want to create a trailer at this point. So let's choose movie. And then we're just going to choose no theme. But there's different themes you could choose if you wanted to. So let's go to no theme. And let's give this a name. So my green screen movie. Click OK. So we want to go to the iMovie library here and we can click on this and this is the event that we have just created. So this is today's date. I can change that if I want to and we're going to do my green screen movie. You could leave it as the date. And then we're going to click this button in the middle to import some media into our movie. So on my desktop I've got various different movies so I'm going to choose this which is a picture of Paris I've got a train um, I've got myself on the green screen being chased by a train the Eiffel Tower space uh, trimmed space station footage and uh, a train ride so I'm going to import all of these and then click import all and that's now imported them into iMovie so now we can start building our project. To do green screen in iMovie, you need to put the scene in first before you put the green screen footage. So we're going to put the Paris scene in. So we're going to drag that down into our timeline. And then this is the Paris. So this is what we want. We want the Eiffel Tower. So we want to take this footage. Let's take it all and drag it on top of the Eiffel Tower here. Now, because this is not long enough what we can do is we can drag it along because it's a picture we can drag it right along to the end here okay and now you can see we have a new option at the top here so this is a video overlay so let's click on that and we're going to click on this drop down menu and go to green and blue screen and now you can see it's taken out that green screen now we have a bit of a problem here because you can see the shadow of the green screen over here. There's a bit of a shadow on this side here. So what we can do is click on this bit here where it says clean up. Let's click on the little rubber here and, and then we can just click on and drag it over and you can see that's taken away that shadow. Or we can adjust it a little bit. You can see there's a bit of my head that's disappeared there. So we drag that over. So now let's go back and look at the video. So let's press the play button. Now let's have a look at putting another piece in. So I've got a train here. So let's take this train footage. So let's take it from about here and drag this train footage. There's about 10 seconds worth, 11 seconds worth. Drag that in and put it in our timeline. And now I believe this is the train one. So it's about seven seconds, eight seconds long this is. So I'm going to take the whole thing and again drag this over the top here and drop it in like this. Okay, so what I need to do is click on it, go back to our green screen. All right, now you can see the microphone is here. So I want to crop this first. So I'm going to click on crop, um, go to crop to fill, and then drag that a little bit so we don't see the microphone here. Okay, press the return button there. We've cropped that. So now what I can do is I can click on this button here and go to green screen, blue screen. Again, let's use the rubber to just take out the shadow here. And there you can see is my green screen. Now what we've got here is I'm talking that that doesn't look too real. What we want is, is it's starting from this point here. Okay, so while I'm running, so let's just drag that to that point. Let's move this to here. And then as I'm moving around, that's where we want to go. So we drag it to that point there. Okay, now let's move the green screen up 
and there we have it okay so we can see there okay so now we can just split the clip at this point and then delete what's left here okay um, so that's really the basics of using green screen there so what you're using is these buttons up here and you've also got other sections in here as well you can do split screen cutaway and picture in picture so they're different tools that you can use within iMovie as well so that's basically how to do green screen um, on iMovie make sure that you've got everything organized on this side of the screen um, and have some fun in the next video i'm going to talk to you how you can do this with final cut pro